has the time come? Has the time come for the long-lived steel MS-170 chainsaw to step aside and open up the door to the latest, the newest, the greatest? Maybe it's the greatest, maybe it's not. We're gonna find out today. Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw, and today we're gonna unbox the brand new steel MS-162 chainsaw. So for years, the MS-170 has been on the shelves at your local steel dealer and has cut countless, countless, countless trees for people all around the world. It is lightweight, reliable, not huge, but it's a comfortable saw to use for, for general cleanup around the lawn. And we've sold probably thousands of them and they've proven to be a very uh, well-received chainsaw with, with minimal problems. Honestly, fuel-related problems is, is what we face. Other than that, it's an awesome saw. But is it time for us to take a peek at the new MS-162 and see if this thing can dethrone the MS-170 as Steel's intro chainsaw that's a reliable, good chainsaw. So here we go. Let's open it up and take a peek. We'll start out with uh, commonalities. Uh, one is they're both chainsaws. <laughs> Two, they both are gonna run the same bar and chain. So as far as that platform goes, same bar and chain. The MS-170 is 8.6 pounds, puts out 1.7 horsepower. Um, okay, there's the basic specs. The MS-162 is 1.6 pounds and weighs 9.9. .9. So we're going down a little in horsepower. We're going up some in weight, 10%, a little bit more than 10% in weight. So I don't really like that, but maybe there's some things that make it worth it. And I'm guessing once we get in the cut and they're actually able to use it, that, that little bit of horsepower difference, maybe something's changed that actually makes up for it. We will see. Okay, so we know kind of the spec difference there. We do have a, a larger fuel and oil capacity on the MS-162, so we should get some longer runtime. But what else is different? Let's take a quick peek at the MS-170. There's our side view. Notice it's, it's kind of boxy. Let's flip it around. We have our steel master control lever. We have our air filter access with a quarter turn here. We'll continue around. We've got our two bar nuts here on the side and our chain tensioner. This is the only steel chainsaw in production that uses the front chain tensioner. Everything else has either gone to the quick chain adjust or the uh, side access chain adjust. And, and some people really, I included, it's annoying, right? Why are we doing that? And then I'll look at the bottom. We've got rubber anti-vibe buffers uh, for, for vibration, reduced vibration. Now let's take a look at the MS-162. And I can feel some of the weight difference. It's definitely there. Okay, there's our side profile. We're gonna have a, a sleeker entry. What does that mean? I'm not sure what that's gonna bring to it, but okay, so we got a little sleeker there. Turning it. We have our master control lever. I wanna see something. Oh, there we go. It's a return to run master control lever. Um, unlike the MS-170 and, and the old generation where you had to turn it on. So once I kill this by flipping it up, it's gonna to return to run ready to start. We do not have quick access to our air filter. I'm guessing there's some reasons to that. We have one bar nut. Okay, no big deal. But notice we have a side access chain tensioner. We also have mm, the same kind of plastic dogs on the front end. Bottom side, we have AV uh, spring. They're not like rubber buffers. These springs are going to usually, if, if my recollection's right, reduce the vibrations by another 15 to 20%. So just a smoother operating chainsaw. Let's open up the guts a minute and take a look at it. I'm going to grab my scrunch right here loosen these screws and I want to take a look at the top end. We'll open up the 170 also. So come back soon and we will crack one of these. Uh, we'll put some fuel and, and oil in one and fire one up. Actually go do a test cut and see how it performs in a cut. Not usually uh, going to give you the best story because guess what? First, first couple hours, these things have power, but as you break them in, they're found usually in that 15 hour range. All of a sudden, these things come into their own and have real power. Okay, there we go. 
All right, top end opened up. Here's our MS-170. We have just a basic felt filter. And if I pull this out, there's our air filter on the MS-170. It works. It stops dirt, but it is not the best filter. And it's not been the best filter for a long time, and that's been known. Spark plug right here on the top. There we go. We got it. Now here's our MS-162. Interesting. Look at this filter. It's definitely more of a filter it clips in right here. So if I take my finger, lift that up using that smaller spark plug, that's been something that's just been happening over the last 15 to 20 years. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the reasons. One thing they talk about is uh, a smaller surface area or larger surface area on the head for cooling. That makes sense. That's something I should dig into, learn a little bit more about. So I do like that intake. Um, we appear to have more cooling fins so it's going to run cooler allowing it to dissipate more heat Let's take off the side clutch cover here again just a single bar nut you know there's people that get stressed out about that i think it's it's fine especially if you've got the right stud to center the bar on the back so that's good we have a sleeker profile on the side cover that should allow for better chip evacuation so if you're if you're doing some rip cuts, not normally a saw that I rip with, but if you're getting the long stringy ribbons of sorts of uh, cut, that's less likely to bind up in this cover. Looks pretty good on the running gear. Looks really what we're used to, except for having this side access chain tensioner right here. Same sprocket, brake mechanism, functioning the same. Like I said, a larger fuel tank and a larger bar oil tank. Okay guys, there it is, the unveiling of the new steel MS-162. Remember, just a little down in horsepower and up some in weight, uh, smoother running, some cool features or some cool additions, definitely better anti-vibration, definitely better air filtration. It is cleaner, so it's gonna be more fuel efficient. That's not a bad thing. I like it. I like what this is gonna bring. I'm excited to get out and do some first cuts with this and see how it operates under use. Because I've done countless hours with the MS-170. I've been impressed every time I use it. This little $200 chainsaw is worth a crap. I think the 162 is gonna be something to check out. So stop by Carl's Mower and Saw. Check out our full line of steel chainsaws. I know I don't have them behind me, but you know whether you're looking for, for a gas or battery, whether you're looking for a 12 inch or a 42 inch or larger, we have them on the shelf ready to put you to work. We will see you soon at Carl's Mower and Saw.